the Clarisonic Mia 2 to the Olay Professional, um, I forgot the full name of this, like Professional um, Face Brush. I forgot. I did a review on this and I will link that below. I did it quite a long time ago, sometime last year, and a lot of people have been asking for a follow up. Uh, because I did promise to do one, and so I decided that, you know, I will do both a follow-up and a comparison. The Olay Professional Brush, this is $30, and it has um, two settings, and um, it when you turn it on, the brush spins. So when it's, when you put it on your face, it spins. And so the reason I had decided to buy this one originally was because the Clarisonic is very expensive. This one, the Mia 2, is 150 I think the Mia now, the original Clarisonic, the Mia, is 100 And now they've got other versions. They've got the, like, the Aria and the, I don't know, other, you know, full body brushes and all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, but the, either way, they're very expensive. And I wanted to get this one at first because, um, I was afraid that when I got, if I got the Clarisonic, if I spent the money on it, I wouldn't ever use, or I wouldn't use it as much. And I heard so many people say, oh, it's so great and everything. And um, I can tell you that with this one, I used it for a while and then just stopped using it, which is part of the reason why I didn't do a follow-up video because I really just hadn't used it. The bristles are pretty rough against my face, like, especially because they spin um, it just feels very abrasive, and, and not very abrasive, I mean it was, you know, it, it did clean my face. It just, I don't know, after a while it was just like, I don't know, I sort of just didn't reach for it because I didn't want to feel the way those bristles felt on my face. The replacement brush heads are very cheap, you know, so that's another upside to it. And I think it just takes batteries. I don't think you have to charge it. I think, yeah, you just, it has batteries. I can't get the bottom off, but it just takes batteries. You don't have to charge it, which is, you know, nice, depending on how much you use it. Um, and it is a lot smaller than the Clarisonic. So, yeah, that's basically the update on that. Um, I did use it kind of sparingly, you know, here and there. Didn't really use it in the shower. I don't know if this is waterproof. I assume it would be. I mean, if it's cleaning your face and you can rinse it off, it would be waterproof and you can use it in the shower. But it just, again, it just didn't, I just don't like the way it felt against my face. It was great in the beginning, um, but like I said, over time I just sort of unconsciously stopped reaching for it. So then I picked up the um, Clarisonic Mia 2, and I feel like I can give a, an honest review on this because um, I got it with mainly the aid of gift certificates. And I, I say that because when I would see other comparison videos about these on the internet, I had always thought like, I feel like this person is convincing themselves that the Clarisonic is better because it's more expensive and they're trying to justify to themselves why it's a better purchase. Um, and so, you know, if I got, I, had, I mainly bought this with gift certificates, I really didn't, I didn't spend, oh yeah, I spent a little bit of my own money, but not enough to feel bad about, <laughs> you know, if, if I end up not liking it. Uh, so the Mia 2 comes in like, I don't know, 10 different colors or something. I obviously got the hot pink one because I love pink. And the, okay, so as far, what I know about this is that it is waterproof. You can use it in the shower, which I have done. It has two speeds um, and it pulses instead of spins, which at first sort of kind of threw me off because I didn't know if it was working. Um, so it has a little, uh, oh, it's a little bit wet, sorry, I used it today. Um, it has like a little cap that you can put on and it has little holes in it so that the bristles can dry, don't get moldy. And it has a little timer, so I think it goes for, it's either 20 seconds or 30 seconds, I'm not positive, but I don't know. Um, but you turn it on and, let's see, so you can hear it's humming that because it's pulsing. Um, the outer bristles right here are... Uh, stationary, they don't move, um, but the inner bristles do move. So you'll hear in just a second, it'll make like a beep. So did you hear that? It went beep beep. I don't know if my microphone can pick it up. But yeah, so that means that, means that like, so you use it on this part of your face for 20, 30 seconds, I forgot how long. I think it's, yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, you use it on a certain part of your face and then it beeps and then you move on to the next and you kind of move around and then it beeps again and then you move it on to the next. And then it'll turn off, I think, after a minute. So I'm guessing that's 20 seconds in each area. 
the replacement brush heads I think are really expensive. I, I think in some cases you can get a deal where you get a free replacement brush head, but I think they're like around 40 or $50. Don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. I'm sure somebody will correct me though. So yeah, it is a lot more of an investment investment if you're going to get the Mia. I can tell you that the these bristles, like to the touch, they feel pretty similar. The um, Mia bristles are a lot shorter than the, Claire, than the uh, Olay. No, actually, you know what? They are the same length. However, I don't know. These just feel like they feel the same to the touch, except I think these are a little bit stiffer, which is probably why it hurts more. And I think because of the spinning motion, um, because they're sort of dragging across your face, they're going to feel more abrasive than the pulsing bristles. It does come with a face wash, like a, it's like the Clarisonic Hydro or Hydro Gel or something like that face wash. And then at Macy's right now, this came with a free gift. Um, which was this little to-go bag and a full-size face wash. I ended up buying the Philosophy face wash to use with it anyway because a lady at Macy's said that the face wash that comes with this is like better used as a body gel so or a body wash. So I'm using it for that. In addition, it, uh, the Mia 2 also comes with a little travel case. It comes with a little travel case which is, you know, super cute. So... Not that I couldn't imagine that there's a big issue with travel with this anyway. I mean, I don't know if it really needs a case, but you know. And then it also comes with a charger. So this, as opposed to the Olay that runs on batteries, the Mia 2 um, is rechargeable. And so you plug it in, um, to, you know, this side, and then this is a magnet and it sticks to the bottom and then it'll uh, charge it. You know, I, I don't know how often you have to charge it. I'm sure it says in the instructions. So, like I was saying, these bristles feel a lot softer on the face, which I think is due to the pulsing instead of the spinning. It makes a very big difference. Afterwards, with the Olay brush, it definitely, I don't know, like my skin feels a little bit, you know, the um, like a, an exfoliant, like when you use an exfoliant to wash your face, and your face feels a little bit rough afterwards, but it does feel nice and clean. It feels like that, but you generally don't want to use an exfoliant every single day, unless it's a very light exfoliant, but you don't want to use an exfoliant every single day because it hurts your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. So... I don't know, I think maybe the Olay brush is good for like once in a while maybe, but at just everyday use it's just too abrasive. I can definitely see myself using the Clarisonic daily, but um, I again will have to promise you guys an update video because I, it, I haven't had it long enough to know. I mean, I think I will but I will let you know. I used it in the shower this morning. I, I've been using it in the shower and then I also use it at night. I prefer it at night because I have all the makeup on my face, um, which was when I went to Macy's, the lady asked me, because you know, there's so many options, and she said, you know, what is it that you, what are your skin issues? And I told her I have dry skin and I um, have a lot of makeup on my face that generally doesn't get always get taken off, taken completely off. So, you know, she recommended the Mia too. I think they have like the Aria's, like an all body brush, and then I don't even know if they still sell the original Mia. So, yeah, that's basically um, the comparison. I definitely like the Clarisonic Mia 2 much better than the Clar than the um, Olay brush. I think I'll try it for about a month and then let you know if I'm still keeping up with it because I. I don't know. I wear makeup every single day of my life. I don't know. I can't even remember. I don't know if there's been a day that I've gone without makeup since I was like 12 years old. So I really need something to get it all off at the end of the day. And I think that um, hopefully I can keep up with this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will link my original review of the Olay Professional down below. And I will come back in about a month to give you an update. And I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you subscribe. If you're curious on this makeup, I'll try to remember what it is and I will list it down below. Alright guys, have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!